We need more Judge Kim Clarks and we would have a far better world. She inspires others to do well and she's just paying it forward basically to everyone around her. She takes those whom she believes uh, are in need of uh, her, her help and her mentoring and uh, she uh, applies it uh, just as if they were her own. I think I'm most proud of actually the work that I do every day in juvenile court and in family division. I feel that um, the work that we do here has a positive effect on many people and I think what makes me proud is that long after some cases are closed, some of the kids that I had in court come to visit me uh, to let me know what they're doing in their lives. I've looked up from the bench and the courtroom door opens and it's someone that I had in, in, in my caseload who just happened to be in town and wants to let me know how they're doing. No one has achieved anything on their own. I'm where I am because somebody helped me, somebody mentored me and I believe that I have the obligation to do that for others. She was involved with the Duquesne Law School's mentoring program for the young lawyers and also the ACBA, the Allegheny County Bar Association's program, which was a mentorship program for the young lawyers. I think that it's amazing that Judge Clark was the first African-American female and the only judge to be elected by her peers to serve as president of the Allegheny County Bar Association. And that's something to really look up to. I had the privilege of serving as uh, the president of the Allegheny County Bar Association. You get to kind of shape things that you would like the Bar Association to um, be involved in. One of the things that I chose was mentoring. I think I would like people to remember me as just a good public servant because that's what I am. Professionally she served uh, in the district attorney's office for a number of years and uh, she was very successful there and she was in uh, uh, charge of the division having to do with major crime. In speaking of the organizations that Judge Clark's involved with where she's giving back to the community, um, two of them that would come to mind is the Pittsburgh Project and the Carnegie Library. I serve on the Board of Fellows as chair of the Board of Fellows for the National uh, Center for Juvenile Justice, which is located here in Pittsburgh. Every day there's there are opportunities to mentor. Every day there is the opportunity to share something with another person that can move them forward in life. And I believe that we should strive to do that every day.